Good morning. Where are we, babe? We are at Epcot Center. Yeah. Disney World. Today is our third day. In, last day at yeah, third day and last day in Disney.
you're wondering about the schools, just ask the fish. Oh. <laughs> really? Desert. Maybe you prefer something a little less wet. We've got that too. We call them deserts. Definitely drier, warmer, and rich with minerals. From majestic cities that stretch to the sky to homes that are more down to earth, there's a whole lot of life under the sun. neighborhoods, try the poles, north or south, take your pick. Oh, oh and both poles yes. come with built-in ice makers. Polar bear. <laughs> well, they kind of are ice makers. Just imagine the long winter walks, Whoa, the short bear. summer nights, and the feeling of cool central air 24-7. Sure, the temperatures can get pretty chilly. <laughs> So you're looking for a home where the grass is always greener. Then may I suggest the grasslands. They're one of our most popular neighborhoods. Yeah. And you'd be living on the land that helps feed your neighbors around the world. Those of you that love the woods, you are so in luck. <laughs> it's not so There's a lot of inventory in this biome. Almost a third of the planet's surface is forest. <laughs> and go on, take a deep breath. Because forests help provide oxygen. neighborhoods to choose from and they're all connected in a circle of life oh and one more thing everything I've shown you today comes with a lifetime maintenance plan that's because this planet is alive and always working to keep things in balance forests and oceans soak up carbon dioxide and provide oxygen arctic seas absorb co2 as well and polar ice helps keep the planet cool, while desert winds warm it up and blow nutrients across the land. Even lightning plays a role in keeping the land fertile. When the biomes are healthy, these maintenance forces of nature are in balance. are becoming more extreme, with record freezes. Increased heat waves and droughts, too. Glacial ice is melting at an alarming rate. And with it, ocean levels and temperatures are rising. Sadly, that means coral reefs are dying. And flooding is becoming more prevalent. and storms are happening with greater intensity. Oh my god, I'm getting wet! Wildfires are more frequent and more destructive. This planet, our home, is in peril. We need to protect it as if all lives depend on it. Because they do. Now, I would never try to sell you on a home that has no hope or future. 
And while it's true that the challenge to restore the balance has never been greater, the opportunity has never been greater as well. Never before have we had the knowledge and the tools to turn things around. The choices that we make, that you make, do make a difference. So, choose how you want to make a difference, and choose to make a difference. Imagine if everyone on the planet pitched in what we could accomplish. Together we can do it, and together we will. throughout the universe, we've never found another place that can support life. It truly is a miracle, this awesome planet that we've been given. Let's keep it that way.
no. Not again. <laughs> Not again. Have you watched Nemo? Yes, I, I did. No, mommy. Yeah, I did before. Is he orange with white stripes and looks kind of like you, only smaller? Yes, have you seen him? Seen who? You're so dumb, Dory. Oh, oh, not the jellyfish. Please don't bump into the jellyfish. Oh, where was that? Oh, I'm thinking of something. Under jellyfish. Fish are fans, not food. Mmm, you get the shark. <laughs> Taking a video of that paper.